are back in the kitchen now with Dr. Radot, and we have our spaghetti squash roasting in the oven. And so now we're going to do a heart healthy bolognese. And like I said uh -huh. earlier, bolognese, you think of lots of meat, meat and everything else. And so I'm using a 100%, well, 99% fat free turkey. Okay. And the fat free turkey um, has 1.5 grams of fat. Um, per serving and only 120 calories. That is a huge difference from yeah, some of our traditional meats. That's meat. right. And ground turkey, so I love the flavor of it. Even when you you don't have to spice it up. No, I, I mean use it, all I did here quesadillas and anything. It can be used for and substitute for anything. I did. So. I, all I did was add a little again, a little thyme yeah. and oregano okay. and a little bit of olive oil to yeah. cook this. Um, what I have done, and so part of the recipe is a half of an onion, two carrots, one slice of celery two cloves of garlic, and a little bit of um, mushroom, whatever mushroom you like. Okay. Now, I, I can't emphasize one of the important things when you're shopping is to look at the back of your cans, mm -hmm. check the back of the can, always. Know what you're getting. Know what you're getting. And, you know, look for the fat content and the calorie content. I recommend when you shop for things, look for low salt. That also helps you. Again, we don't need to overload our bodies with salt. So what I've done, I've taken my carrots and my onions and my celery and I've put them in here and all I've done is sauteed them for about five minutes after cooking my turkey. Okay. The turkey took about six minutes. So once that's in there, I took a little bit of tomato paste and I'm just going to mix the tomato paste in okay. and just kind of get it spread out evenly. That and tomato paste is a great ingredient. Yes, All the time is. you're doing it just thickens everything up, it, makes it a little richer. Yeah, and it, it doesn't take very long to add this in. I would say probably put it in, stir it around for about a minute. Okay. And again, the goal of this was to get this cooked in a half hour. After it's dinner. After dinner. The yeah. kids are starving. That's right. They haven't eaten anything You've for worked. at least an hour. Well, yeah. And in my house, you know, my wife picks up the snack on the way home. I get home a little bit late. And then it's, okay, so this is about a half hour. Okay. Now, I've mixed in my tomato paste. Mm -hmm. The next step, trying to get everything done within a half hour, I'm going to add... A little bit of chicken broth, about a half a can. Okay, and that's the low sodium that's chicken broth. That's a low sodium chicken broth. Okay. And you know, another important thing about this recipe, somebody just mentioned to me when I was sitting down during the commercial, is this is gluten free. Oh, that's oh. great. Yeah, yeah, you know? Um, so it's gluten free. And then I'm going to add about a quarter cup of red wine. Um, we all know the health benefits of red wine. Mm, right. Um, when you cook this down, all the alcohol is gone. And we're going to let this simmer now for about 10 minutes. Reduce it and just kind of watch it kind of sit here for about 10 minutes okay. and it will become nice and thickened and then we'll finish up the last ingredients in a little bit. All right, sounds good. Let's give everybody for more heart healthy recipes. You can check out heart.org, a great website to have everything you need to know for great heart health. We're back to finish up the recipe in just a minute. Thanks.